and to ensure, and to ensure, and to ensure that the history of what went on in this area is never forgotten. The history of popular struggle against those who would seek to oppress us. Eighty years on, those who stood on the streets of this area to defeat fascism would have difficulty recognising the physical community they're now in. The docks that employed thousands of people have gone, along with the huge Irish community that was here at that time, many of those that uh, worked in the docks. There was a huge Jewish community in this area, made up of people who fled from the pogroms in Russia in the late 19th century and from the rise of the Nazis in Germany in the 1920s and 1930s. They were the lifeblood of this community. The end of Cable Street is no longer a synagogue but one of Britain's largest mosques. London has always been, and I hope always will be, a melting pot for people from all over the world to make it their home and make it their contribution. Because our rally today is about a celebration of a multicultural, multi-faith society. So today, as we do every year, we take head on, absolutely head on, those that flam, fan the flames of racism and xenophobia and try and divide us by hate, by prejudice and racism. As they said at the time, no passaran, there will be no passaran with racism or xenophobia within our society. Those who daub a synagogue with anti-Semitic graffiti defile a mosque with Islamophobic hate or any other community that suffers that abuse or racism, we are on their side to defend all those communities and the kind of multicultural society we want to live in. To me, Cable Street is crucial. It was a very significant victory over fascism in Britain. To me, it has a deep personal significance. A mile away from where we stand today stood a young woman alongside thousands of local people, trade unionists, socialists, communists, Christians, Jews, Muslims, people of all and no faith. They stood here and it was told to me in great detail with one simple aim, to stop Oswald Mosley and his fascists marching through the East End. Mosley had had a bad time at his Olympia rally and the violence that went with it had put off a lot of his wealthy supporters. So he moved his fascist ideas into the East End to emulate the brown shirts that were then ruling the roost on the streets of so many cities in Germany. And he thought that he would make progress here by attacking the Jewish community. One woman stood there along those many, with many others and she told me all about it. That woman was my mother. She stood here along with so many others. Because she wanted to live in a world, as we all do, that's free from xenophobia and free from hate. Those that stood here in 1936 did an enormous service. Mosley thought that he would get the working class communities of the East End of London suitably divided in order to attack the Jewish people, in order for the fascists to grow. By stopping them, marching that day. That was, in a sense, the turning point in the fight against fascism in Britain. It was of huge political significance at that time. But those lessons have to be learnt over and over again. There are still those around who try to divide our communities, drive a wedge between us. There are those that see economic problems as an excuse to blame minorities within our society. And I simply say this, if there's a shortage of housing, of school places, there's a queue at the doctor's surgery, there are difficulties in a local hospital, there are problems over employment. You can turn one community against another. You can always find a minority to blame for everything. And then you've created 
the hatred and the vileness in society that creates the distrust. But at the end of it, you haven't built a house, you haven't built a school, you haven't trained a teacher, you haven't trained a doctor. It's communities that come together that achieve so much, that achieve so much and we have to learn a lesson from them. But sometimes, as John was pointing out, you have to keep learning that lesson. Because all those years later, in the 1970s, the National Front decided that it could march through the streets of London. A number of us who lived in Wood Green at that time decided we would not allow the National Front to march through our multicultural society there. 5,000 assembled and they were prevented from their goal that day. As, was, as happened in Lewisham a few weeks later, as happened here in Cable Street when they tried to march here sometime after that. That huge anti-racist movement of the 1970s brought together a new generation which came together in culture, in music, in song, but they came together on the political principle that we will not allow the far right to divide us when we're trying to make social progress in our society. I'm being told I've got to stop very quickly, and I will. But I simply want to conclude with this thought. Those that stood there in Cable Street all those years ago did so as an act of defiance and an act of principle. And we walk in their shade, walk in their shadow. They stood there very bravely. Post the referendum in June, there's been a disgusting and disgraceful rise in xenophobia and hate crime across this country. The only answer to it is communities coming together to support each other, not allow it to go on. The only way is to bring people together so that we deal with our economic issues across international boundaries as well as within them together. There is no future in racism, there is no future in xenophobia, there is no future in division within our society. So that those who think post-Brexit referendum, they can divide all of us on the basis of attacking minorities or the growth of racism, let them have another think. We are not going to be divided, we're united in wanting to create a world of peace a world that supports, not condemns those that seek asylum from wars or human rights abuses or environmental disaster, and a world where we do manage our economy in such a way as to provide jobs for all, not the few, and share the wealth amongst all, not give it to the minority and the few. Yeah. Cable Street and the associated struggles in support of the International Brigade in Spain at the time of the Spanish Civil War were emblematic of the spirit of people that went on eventually at terrible, terrible human cost to finally defeat Nazism that uh, was concluded in 1945. It's up to all of us to remember those who struggled then with honour, with pride, and make sure that we never cease to proudly stand up to defend each other against any attack that takes place. We will not be divided. Our solidarity is total. Our unity is complete. For we want a world where there is unity and peace, not racism, xenophobia, poverty and division. Thank you very much.